this is it y'all if this pans out if this video pans out i am returning to cabled headphones for leisurely listening and i've always wanted to try something like a planar magnetic headphone among other things but didn't necessarily want to spend half of my life savings on one if you know what i mean but thankfully the infamous brand hi-fi man has gone to making these kind of things down to an art and best of all for us consumers trickle the tech down its product line so today i'm excited to unbox a brand new well to me anyway hi-fi man he 400 se and no i didn't have to give away my kidney for it and i'm gonna open this up guys get the camera up close and personal with it so you can see what's in the box and then we'll plug it in somewhere listen to some tunes and get my early impressions on it so are you ready let's get to it all right so here is the front of the box and i'm really excited about this one uh the thing you want to pay attention to is this sticker here that says stealth magnets design and this is the whole selling point of the 400 se and really what the se stands for is that stealth um i guess that means element i'm not sure but it's not special edition they say it's related to the stealth magnets so anyways at the back here everything else is nicely made at the back here you got some specs it doesn't show you or tell you anything about what the content is that would have been nice but anyways here you can see the frequency response is 20 hertz to 20 kilohertz let me pull this in 25 ohm impedance and then the weight or the efficiency is 91 decibels and the weight 390 grams um let me open this up see it's all taped up still i'm excited guys uh let's uh rip this open with the blade and see what's inside one day i should invest in more mics so we can do like an asmr kind of thing huh? you can hear that squeak squeak oh yes And of course, pardon all the cars they're passing outside. It's really noisy. They're doing road works out there. Um, this is all in Chinese. Oh yes, this is what they're basically explaining what the uh, st stealth magnet technology does. Uh, maybe we'll talk about that in a second. Warranty. All right, let's move that aside. Um, oh yes, owner's manual. We all love these kind of. I'm gonna take this to the bathroom later. Foam pattern. Oh yes, look at this, hoochie mama. Oh yes, good. Look at this. Um, so one thing that was been has been a complaint about the uh, current or the previous previous batches of the 400 SE is the cable. I'll show you a picture right here. Uh, that thing looks like a straw. People have been complaining about it. So Hi-Fi Man was smart enough. Two things. Those people who had the original really really stiff, really really bad cable that was so cheap. Um, that matched the price point, I guess. Uh, you could always, if you own one of these, write Hi-Fi Man and they'll send you this cable. I think this is the Sundara's cable, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, they are slightly mid-range, higher-end, 300 buck uh, headphone. And yeah, this is so much nicer. This is, yeah, this is proper, guys. It has a 6.35 millimeter adapter. That's, that's, that's classy right there. See, I'm a pro at this. I'm so good at my job. So this is really what it is. A, um, it's a split output, a dual sided 3.5 millimeter output. We'll see this in the headphone in a second. Um, and yeah, this is a cool cable. I hope it's long enough. But anyways, let's look at this real quick. Oh yes, let's put this aside a second. Are you seeing this, guys? This is so nice. Okay, so it doesn't rotate uh, inwards or outwards like your regular uh, headphones, like your, uh, you know, your XM5, like this one right here. You see, it would be nice to roll full it flat, but these are your home listening uh, headphones that are supposed to sit on a stand or just sit down like this, you know, but, and not to be transported anyway, uh, anywhere. There's not even a case as you saw. There's no case for this. You just pack it and go if you really have to. I really like the materials right here. Really generous amount of foam. And then there's felt on the inside. I'm not sure if you can see that. And then um, let me try to do this real quick. I'm going to turn on my flashlight on my phone. Then you can see uh, through this on the camera. I don't think it's being caught how the uh, planar or bands and the magnetic bands. So I'm going to flash this at the back. Can you see those things right there? Isn't that cool? It's yeah, that's the whole that's the whole planar uh, magnet speaker. Uh, driver thing set up right there. You see that? That's so cool, isn't it? I'm really, really curious and excited to see how they sound. So let's move this thing back and turn off. Give me a second. Turn off flashlight. Uh, the hinges, the uh, the wishbone hinges are really nice. They're all metal. This is all aluminum right here, screwed on. So I'm I'm not sure if you need to maintain these. 
and there's the outer mesh right there. So as I mentioned earlier, these are the dual outputs, 3.5 millimeters that go with the cables right here. So you can plug in any side. Well, actually they're labeled left and right. So make sure that you have the right sides in like so. Sorry, the focus is kind of funky, but that's how it works. Or at least that's how you plug it in. So let me unplug this and it stays in pretty good. That's, so that's good. Uh, the headband itself is nice and solid, guys. It's really thick, the padding. So this is meant for hours of listening. Uh, the plastics right here for the Hi-Fi Man logo, eh, it could be better. I'm not a huge fan of it, um, but you know, it is what it is for the price point. Very, very nice and simple. So the driver itself, earlier we saw the through the light, the driver itself comes to around, uh, the diameter is around 39.8 millimeters. So that's like basically 40 millimeters. Um, and yeah, oh, hold on, let's try it. Is there sliders? Yes, there is a slider. It's not the smoothest, definitely not. Wow, is that oil? Yeah, but there's detents right there. You can see that. I, I'm wondering if they pop up, show up in the camera, but there you go. It's really nice uh, in terms of the, the aluminum itself, but the sliding action is really stiff. I'm guessing once you have this in one position, it will stay in place and you won't ever really need to move it. You know, one thing I really like about this unboxing and not because it's professional by any means, if anything, it's horrible, but it's refreshingly simple. There's no like touch controls to talk about, no apps or Bluetooth protocols or batteries to worry about, you just plug and play. The only thing you have to worry about is driving this thing it has 91 uh, ohm impedance. So you probably need a powerful DAC or a strong enough DAC or maybe a PC or something to drive it. I don't think a regular phone with a headphone jack is gonna do it in this case, or actually uh, bring this to full potential unlike say an XM5. So uh, let's plug this into somewhere, try to bring up some tunes and then I can tell you what I think about it. I don't know about you, but I'm really excited to test these out and see how they sound and what the fuss is about planar magnetic. Um, so remember to plug these in on the right orientation, left to left, right to right, obviously. And so this is the left side. I wish one little minor thing is some kind of indicator at the input, po input port of the headphone. The only way to look at it is on the inside of the headband. So that's a minor inconvenience and it's not really super visible because it's black on black. Um, okay, so right to right. And what I'm gonna do, uh, in to do some kind of comparison and I'm gonna plug this into by the way into my gaming laptop Which I read the specs it has a decent enough uh, DAC or onboard power or sound card to power this thing and let me switch this to headphones Yada 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 and what I'm gonna do I'm gonna compare this with the XM5 and I have the same exact song song playing through NAS I'm setting this up in a second um, through my NAS playing a flag file and I wanna gonna play this wirelessly, obviously with the XM5 through my phone and then listen to this wired and I wanna see what the difference is. I mean, just in overall sound quality. So uh, what I have is gonna select here something I was listening to last night on the XM5. So I kinda know uh, what to look out for. And I was really excited when I listened to it on the five yesterday in part of my review of this thing. And it's really, really good guys. Oh man, for what it is. Uh, but I'm very curious how this does. So I'm gonna listen to Into the Mystic uh, by Van Morrison. And there's one particular part where I really want to pay attention to. I think it's somewhere around the uh, one minute, 15 second marker where the guitars come in. Dun -ka -dun -ka -dun. That that's, should be really clear on this because they say, so here's the thing about planar uh, magnetic is because on a regular dynamic driver or driver, you have the diaphragm and I'll show you a picture in a second is, uh, and then they have the magnets at the back driving the, uh, well, literally driving the diaphragm. It's not very effective in driving the whole thing. So most of the diaphragm is not being used. It's, it creates a lot of, you know, a little bit of bass. So that's one thing people say about planars is they don't have as much bass as a regular other kind of dynamic driver, or whatever. But a cool thing is about magnetic or the planars is they cover more surface area of the driver or the diaphragm itself. So therefore has less distortion and more clarity. So that's one thing I'm trying to keep my ears literally on and let's play this. So make sure I have the left and right side correct. Man, this is super comfy and I, this is definitely an open back. This is, you can, I can hear everything, but it's, oh, it's so comfortable. Oh my goodness, this is so cool. Okay, so I'm gonna start, let's start at the 45 second mark. Mmm, oh. 
it's clear. Oh my goodness. See the smile? The mistake. Uh -huh. bum, ba, bum, ba, bum, ba, bum, ba. Okay, the separation, imaging. I need to listen to classical in a second or some kind of uh, instrument heavy stuff where, you know, the, the placement of instruments are really less so of the, than a band like this. Oh, there's the guitar. Ding, ding, ding. I can hear every single pluck, guys. Oh my goodness. All right, so I'm going to pause this and I want to compare it with, I'm, I want to compare this with XM5. These are comfortable too. And I mentioned earlier that these are light. Okay, so I have same thing. Let's pull up into the Mystic. Uh, let's go back 107, one minute seven. And I really enjoyed this. I mentioned this, I really enjoyed this yesterday. Kiki Plan. Did it just power off? Why did it power off? I think I just, because I've been talking too long. Okay, there you go. Oh wait, do I have? It doesn't have that pluck. I can't hear the guitar pluck as well. It's clear on this thing, but it doesn't have the definition of this. They were not kidding guys. This is so good. I can't wait to, you know, listen to more music. Let, let me hold on. Let me find something here. Any suggestions, guys, you have what your favorite songs to test uh, headphones on, just comment down below because I have my own list, but obviously there's so many options out there. Uh, what should we what should listen to? Oh, come on. Uh, I'll listen to, some, listen to some Spanish songs right here. Oye como va, how about that? I know, Santana, right? Yeah. Now you can hear everything everywhere. Boom, 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 boom. The timber on these, I can hear the of each instrument. I can't imagine what other headphones that cost thousands of dollars sound like. I don't know if it's exponentially better by that much, but just comparing these two, the XM5 and this, huge difference. And I guess that, that, guys, that goes with the point because I, I saw somewhere, a few places where they said during COVID, when, uh, before COVID, the sales of true wireless earbuds, you know, like wireless headphones, let me pull one up for an example in case you don't know what I'm talking about, in case this is your first time. You know, earbuds, guys, earbuds, your regular earbuds, these things were hot sellers and they still are. The trend is still going upwards upwards, and people are selling it like crazy and buying them like crazy and, and manufacturers are just going nuts with them. But during COVID, the sales of headphones uh, just went up, went through the roof. They were tanking before this, but because people were, you know, obviously Zooming and doing a lot of staying at home, starting at home, working from home, and they just needed to some tune, listen to some tunes comfortably because these hurt your ears after a while. And so headphones got back their groove and, you know, the, the trend and, and the manufacturers started saying, hey, let's, let's keep going and developing these. And so you got things like the XM5s that sound so good. And so here's where I go back to it. I think there is, people should start looking more at uh, wireless, uh, wired headphones because since these were used at home and really stuck at your desk or your, you know, your room listening to tunes, you should consider it a wired one. Basically, you can just connect this to your source or whatever, some kind, and use some kind of DAC that's Bluetooth or literally wired. That will be great because guess what? The sound quality on this, and one thing I have haven't mentioned is the price. You think this is expensive, right? Because this is, oh, this is one of those high-end audiophile grade. Think about this, this is $110 on Amazon. Right now it retails, that's not even on sale. 110 bucks, guys. Not refurbished, brand new. This is like entry level planar, but my goodness. And this, $400. So, you know, great for traveling, obviously. This is obviously not. But if you're buying something for listening pleasure, go for wired. Oh my goodness. This can do wired too, but I don't think you can touch this even. Look at that, it's four times the price. And sure, you got all the Bluetooth and, I mean not Bluetooth, active noise cancellation, Bluetooth obviously, but all the other features that come with it. But this just, like I said before, if you want listening pleasure, this is it. 
But anyways, uh, yeah, I, like I said before, this is as simple as it can get. I, I can't wait to listen to more stuff. Maybe even try out movies. They say it's not good for movies because it doesn't have, you know, planars don't have, uh, strengths are not in base and such like that. But I am curious how it works. Um, and I hope to be able to get my hands on a pair, a set of DAX, uh, hope, a DAC, and hopefully be able to really, really push this and see how it does. But guys, thank you so much for watching this and thank you for being patient with me. I know this is my first uh, kind of headphone of this kind. And if you're like a professional watching this and you're probably like, ah, you didn't mention this. So you... I'm going to do more research. I'm going to listen to this and learn this as I go because, you know, I am an amateur and that's being honest right there. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate y'all for being here and for, you know, checking this out. And I will be doing a full-on review coming up in the few weeks with this. And as well, hopefully I get my hands on a uh, iFi Studio or iFi Audio DAC and we'll see, or see how that goes. Thank you again, guys. I love y'all very much. Remember to thumbs up if you like this video and comment nicely down below. If you have any questions about this headphone or an XM5 or whatever I do, uh, feel free to ask in the comments. And also remember to subscribe if you like this channel and support it. Visit my Patreon page too if you'd like to be a Patreon member. And also remember to do something loving and kind for somebody in this world. Because guess what, guys? If you haven't seen the news, the world needs it more than ever. And it starts with you. I love y'all very much. Peace out. <laughs> Guys, I just have to add this in here. I'm listening to Erika Badu singing Tyrone Tyrone. Her voice is so rich in this one. And the background singers, come on, come on, come on. And the bass guitar, the pairing, the, the guitar, the warmth and the strength in it. Oh. Oh my goodness. And I was just listening to John Denver a second ago and also Billie Eilish. The XM5 just gives, it seems more compressed. It's still, it's good, but it still feels compressed, the sound staging. But this one, it's so, it's, you can, you know where each person is sitting, playing it or standing, playing an instrument. It seems like it's so good. It's so good. You see the smile on my face again? It's so good. Oh. Woo. I'm having an uh, oral orgasm right now. That didn't sound right. <laughs> Sorry, children. <laughs> Jeez.